Hello and welcome to a new video where we have a look at the new Spitfire audio library Solstice. I guess this one is the 6th library or the 6th Albion library and it's really special because here are not just normal orchestral sounds at high velocities or low velocities. They are really much processed. So you can see here we got three folas, the cassette orchestra, the drone grid, and the Solstice Orchestra. Let's start at the beginning. The orchestra includes four patches, the classic, the traditional, the band, and the visitor. And Christian Hansen took a lot of sounds and processed them at a cassette tape or his modular system or other things. And now let's have a look at them. Okay, so you can see here we cut two different sounds and we can listen to them with crossfader. Now let's add some release. Okay, and now let's try to use the mod wheel for the volume. Okay, this doesn't work. So let's try CC11 expression. Okay, this one is working. So let's do the oscillate mixer. Reduce this one a bit. Go to here. And here can change the tempo. Let's do this. For me, it's a little bit irritating that um, the higher this is, that the um, frequency is getting lower. But it's wonderful that you can do the crossfading very slow, very slow. So it can be very beautiful that you have multiple patches and they have different speeds for the crossfading. So let's check, uh, let's stop at this one. And here we can choose the second one. So this is the second one. Now let's choose another sound here. You can see here we got the Elder, and let's choose the Sinister. And this is type one. So where's type two? Do we have type two here? 
strange. Can't find it. Did I, didn't I find it? So let's choose this one. So here we can use the arpeggiator. Okay, let's check the <coughs> sorry, the different sounds here. Let's start at the beginning. Here we got Ella long tap one and here Ella long tap one. Ah, I see um, here I can't choose the same thing as here. So here I've chosen long tap one and here I can choose it. Well, that's Okay. So let's choose Evil. Yeah. Next is the gate sequencer. This can be very, very nice. And here you got a lot of modulations. I guess you you know this one because uh, the EDNA is very often used on a lot of other Albion uh, patches or Spitfire audio patches. So let's choose another one. Here we got the brushed. And what is here? Let's choose the bass staccato. Okay. So in here we got a special rhythm. We can tune it. Clone it. So it's very tricky <laughs> to use the controls. And we can use some effects here i really rarely use them so we can have a effects and b effects for for this one and use motor effects so you got a lot of possibilities i prefer to use it in uh, additional inserts but hey you can do a lot of things in here and there is a special thing in here. So here you see Elder Long Type 1 and later Elder Long Heist Terraces. So here are different names after Heist Terraces. Elder Long Descent. And then is coming Elder Long Low IPS. 
RE. So these are different cassette recording types. And let's have a look to them. Oh, wrong. <laughs> So this is type one. Now let's have a look at the next one. High terraces. Strange because here we got a long alt and here long and long alt. So I guess long is missing here. Okay, now long alt. Sounds a little bit distorted. Now, elder long, no, long all decent. Sounds like a bee. And here it seems that there is a recorded room or reverb. Next is low IPS. Yeah, and here we go into the distortion. So I got to turn down the volume. That's something I'm, I'm irritated. Why is the volume in most of the libraries so loud that you go to uh, the red level and when, when you compose and use multiple libraries and they are at the same volume at, as this one, um, it's too loud. So most of the time I got to turn down this levels here. And the next tape. So you can choose the same sound from different cassette tapes. Here we can use Elder Long Old. And here we don't choose type one, but we choose the same sound as terraces this one. So um, let's check the next one. So this is classic and yeah, the sounds sounds classic now. The next one, traditional, you see the interface is the same. Okay, so let's see what's the difference now we take the first few sounds here we got the uh, elder long and long art and tremolo i guess we didn't have them here long art consolino circular okay so yeah, we really got different articulations here. I want to have a long attack. 
Là, on a release. And here we have the low pass and the high pass filter. But for me, it sounds that uh, we have just more sounds in here, more articulations. But the sound seems to be, yeah, um, uh, the same. Yeah, so here we got a really special sound, Myst. So here, these are not strings here, we got the, the flutes. And let's combine them with the strings. And tune them. One octave higher. And clone them. Hey, what's going on here? Back. More release. Strange, where did... Oh, that's been my keyboard. That sounds really... Beautiful, and now let's add some reverb to here. For example, let's take the room by Valhalla. Uh, we use the large hall, no high cut. Yeah. Next are the most guess flutes and yeah yeah we get a lot of strings. Let's try the pizzicato. Can't hear it right now. Oh yeah. And 
and Christian Hansen told that they used small microphones directly at the instruments so you don't get a lot of room you are really near to the instruments so let's try the next one sometimes sounds like a delay next one here are a lot of now we come to the flutes Oh, is it, is it right? <laughs> I guess this one should be the opposite. This sounds like a minor, uh, like like a major, and this like a minor. Yeah, and when we got this one, it would be very nice to play them with the velocity and not the mod wheel. Yes, you can use on the arpeggiato. But it would be very nice to um, play it like, like a normal sound here. So what do we have here? We've got more Ella strings. Yeah, this sounds very special. Processed. Holy moly. <laughs> Can you hear the the hum? So we control the flutes. Yeah, so this can be very beautiful. Let's stay here and we choose the next sound. Here we go to another sound. And here we want to use the filter. And this can be very beautiful. So I want to add the Echo Boy. Let's rise the attack. Choose saturation, let's choose cheap tape. So this can be fun. Let's choose this one for more retro and some vintage verb here it is let's choose a plate yeah a plate
and now we can modulate this one a little bit so let's choose the cloner And here we detune it down a little bit. Okay, so what do we have here? And more sounds, more flutes. And a lot of strings, a lot of flutes. So this can take a lot of time to check them out. Now we go to the third one, the band. And just let's listen to the first part, so part A. Yeah, I guess this can be very difficult to, to play with the glissando always turned on. So let's check the other sounds. Okay, so we don't have always the same sound. So it's getting thinner and thinner. So when when I play a layer, um, I was I always want to have control how it sounds and don't want to be um, get slave of of the patch. So uh, the sound differs very much. Okay, let's try this sound with another. Let's do uh, this one. What is this? Sounds like a processed piano. But here differs in sounds again. Here's no, no modulation. But here, I guess it's, it's a vibrato. And here not. Here not. Yeah, at this sound again, it would be very nice to play with a velocity. Uh, you can write in the comments when I'm just too stupid to activate this feature and 
I don't know how to do it. Very nice sound. And let's find a long sound. Here we got the tremolo. Now let's do the crossfade. And to uh, use the expression. Can be very nice. Activate the gate sequencer. Try the smoothing. Yeah, so this can make a lot of fun. Let's see what we have in here more. So let's decorate this one. Host. Oh, yeah. Now I'm getting pictures inside my head and they are not beautiful. Very nice. And I guess now we can do a crossfade. Let's choose host M and move to a uh, oh. Now learn MIDI CC and do this and now can use the mod wheel and we've got to use black hole Now, how does it sound now?
and it's very beautiful that it's it's living it's not spooky 100% it's mysterious it's it's living and it's a choir i've i've never heard like like this one so it's it's very special so you got uh, to be one of the first people that use this choir and let's go on what you can do more with it yeah some special bendings in there okay that's a new sound Yeah, and here we get some special, let's say, variations, because... So here in this keys, it's soft. C3, D3, and uh, D sharp. And now... So it can be very difficult to, to play a melody, a constant melody. So I want to have it faster. Let's try this one. Yeah, this can be very nice. So uh, let's add the Echo Boy again. Let's rise the tech. Okay, so here we got a lot of noise. Um, let's go to, to sound toys and we want to have how? What's the name? I always forget the name. Oh, the crystallizer, right. So and let's do this one, not too much. Uh, this one. Let's do this. More attack. And let's try to find a second sound for doubling. Oh, here we got the tremolo fast. Well, doesn't matter. Let's choose the tremolo boat. Very, very loud. Let's tune it down. Let's do more. Yeah, so you can get a lot of out of the sounds and really makes 
fun to to combine them and and process them so this has been this sound let's check what's inside here oh more good is it a guitar no but i don't know what it is oh let's <laughs> turn back tune I guess it was a guitar. Yeah, so a lot of different sounds here. And uh, now we go to Stevenson's, the visitor. Let's see. Okay, here we got uh, different categories. Uh, these are just synthetic sounds. Okay, so here we got a really, really long attack in the sample itself. You can see here, the attack is down, but it takes a long time. It would be nice that the sample starts at full volume and I can do this with this knob. So here I don't have any choice to change it. Okay, so what do we have here? 12, ageless. Let's turn this one back. That's a fat one. So what we have here, I guess, not as much as in the other pitches. Very beautiful. Okay, so here we got a lot of different sounds.
and this has been just a few of them. What's inside the presets? Oh, we can see a lot of sounds. So what's going on here? So I'm trying to pay with the velocity. I don't know. Is there a difference? And if you hear a difference, it's not, it's not very big. A lot of presets in here. Great. So that's what I uh, miss. There are no snapshots in here, but you got a lot of presets. And what you can hear, there is some noise in the samples. That's okay when I press just one key. But when I use multiple keys, you get more noise. Let's try a few more patches. What's that? Okay, some are really nice. Some are nice for other people. the last preset and then we got to go to the next category. Okay, so this has been the cassette orchestra let's go to the drone kit this is just one patch and perhaps you know the grid from other libraries like evil grid one two and i guess you can use it at oliver arnold's chamber waves and here we got it again Let's see what kind of categories we got here. Elders, Callers, Mystics, Band, Blackguards, Hoodie Goody. Okay, so let's randomize the Elders. And here, CC1 modulation works.
Now let's randomize with callers and mystics. And let's do it again. Okay, so the next one, the bat. Let's do it a second time. Uh, yeah, I would like to see what what kind of variations or articulations I I got here so I can't see it and at other grid libraries you um, you had special patches for every single articulation and they have been not just named when they had numbers and so on so it can be very difficult to find one Very different. That's beautiful. And let's add my inserts. Just the first one. And let's try here another sound at the lower range. Oh no, that's been wrong. The lower range is here. Strange order. Try this one. Ah, oh, too strange. Yes, so you can have a lot of fun. Let's go further. Next category, the blackguards. And 
Next Randomize. Doesn't sound very different. Here we got more bass. Yeah, I guess the variations are very subtle. And at last, the hoodie goodie. Next one. Yeah, so here are some surprises. And now let's randomize with all. I guess what can be very nice when you've got a lot of drone grids and you cross them manually. So one at channel one, the next at channel two and so on. And then you got, let's, let's say six different drone grids and you do crossfades. You can do them manually or choose a tremolo or something like this. And then you've got a lot of living. Okay, the last category is uh, the Soltistic Orchestra. So here we've got a lot of folders of the elders, the strings, the callers, brass and winds, mystics, pipes, blackguards, band, host, choir. So this is the translation. What are the hosts? It's the choir. Generator, trio, electric, Cut circle, acoustic, nursery, bells, mallets, ma the marauders, percussion. Okay, so let's go to here. First, we listen to the strings. And here you can hear how close or near the microphones are at the instrument and at the bow. You can hear the colophonium. So what do we have more? Here we got pure tension.
a lot of articulations. Yeah, and here we got the velocity, that's great. Very beautiful and very, very small effects. Oh, I hoped it's going down and up. But it's it's not, I guess. No, it's not changing. So here are the evos. Okay, these are some um, long strings that have some variations inside, like the evil grid. Go away. So let's check the different mixes here. So I guess the room where they recorded the sounds has been very small. So this just sounds for me more far away, but not very roomy. So when you want to have more room, just add some reverb. And I guess it will be okay just to use one of these mix signals. Just my own taste. And at last, the motors. Okay, so 
they don't match the tempo of your song. You got to match the tempo of this one. So this is uh, a little bonus. Okay, so here we got the traditional six, six I guess. These are just different settings. So here we get another player. And here we got short and long techniques, very nice. And some Evos and effects and motors. Let's move on. Oh, here we got a special bass. That's nice to have an additional bass and not just a cello, viola, and second and first violin. Okay, let's be in the strings. Now, let's check brass and wind. This is a very beautiful legato. This can be very nice to layer it. Let's choose the Spitfire strings uh, here. Let's choose the Ensemble, MIDI channel 1. Let's turn it down a little bit. Choose Consolino.
That's a beautiful patch. This can be very beautiful to put different notes or, or keys to uh, different pannings when you use surround some at the left front some at the right side or something like this very nice very special And this just has been the main technique. So let's have a short look at the effects. Next are the Evos, the long. And the motors again you got to match the BPM of here can be very difficult to use them okay the pipes just have one patch so we will be very fast And it seems that the engine uh, behind this patch recognizes how fast you play. Oh, this one. from C to G sounds a little funny and you can hear it's always the same sample just at lower volume Yeah, I guess it's always the same sample. You just change the volume. And we've got a lot of reverb here. So let's reduce it. Now we've got the band main techniques. Oh yeah, so 
these are the same sounds as um, in the first one, uh, the cassette aura, I guess. Let's try the drones. Oh, not very much. Bellows and strings. So here we get a lot of release, but I reduce the release. Yeah, I would like to have a shorter sound. So I guess you can compose music for a ship. And now he's coming home back to his wife. So what is plucked? So the this doesn't sound like a accordion, more like a harp. So now to the choir and let's see, do we have the, the same sounds as um, in the first folder? Yes, I guess so. So, hmm. I guess it's not the same sound. Let's try the mm. And now I choose the cassette orchestra. Where has it been? Uh, the traditional. Let's try it. Go to here. Channel one. 
solo it. And now let's find the choir. No, not here. Perhaps here. Let's. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Uh, let's choose the. Mm. Mm. Yes, so this one is processed. This one sounds more natural, and this one... More processed, more noise, and so on. So, these are not the same samples as I thought. Let's go back to here. This is the choir. And let's check the motors and effects. Oh, the finish? Oh, the bass is very beautiful. It would be very nice to have a, a loop and not stopping. No, less keys. What is a song bath? Okay, now it's going electric. Oh, we got more articulations. So let's check the mix here. Yeah, so we get different microphone signals, but the, um, it, it, they don't sound very different. Sounds like a bit like a harp or a guitar. It's, yeah. Mm. 
Okay, let's add reverb. Very beautiful. We got some evas here. Yeah, and I switch to the motors. For me, it sounds like the same tempo. So let's check it. I use 90 BPM. So they are both up 90 BPM. Let's check uh, 120 perhaps. Um, yeah, it matches to the tempo. So this one is matching to the tempo. Let's say, uh, or let's try the other motors. Perhaps I've not been right. Oh, yeah, so my fault, they are matching to the tempo. And here you just see the original tempo. But this one is uh, matching to the host tempo. Whew. So this is very, this is very nice. Here is the gut circle, gut, okay. This is this is great and can add some more tension. So let's add the Spitfire symphonic strings. And, and now we choose the tremolo. Uh, do we have tremolo on here? Which one is here? Here's tremolo and channel one. Let's turn it down.
that sounds great. So you've got more attack in it. So sometimes here are some special sounds where I think, well, you can do this and this and combine uh, this. One sample, one song. <laughs> so let's try the motor. This, this makes fun. But to get, uh, get to play and uh, the timing. Very nice triplets. It's great that they have triplets in here too. Not just straight, but triplets too. and some bendings for driving tension. Great to have minor major. But all in all in D, right? I oh, know that's not uh, just different uh, it's a different tempi. Yeah, so you got minor, major. The sevens, the nine, the octaves, and so on. But you can't change the key. You just can do it with some special editings. So we do this, and then. No, this one. Yeah, can be can be tricky, but I like the the first one. So it's not been a perfect timing, but Let's create the perfect timing. Here we go. And some Echo Boy. Let's choose this one. Yeah, 
I will use uh, this pitch. I don't know when, but I will use it. Very great for creating some special drive. So I guess we stayed here. Now, Nursey. Yeah, so it reacts to the velocity. I would like to have the, the Glockenspiegel coming in more softly. Not so hard. Very, very beautiful for a children's scene, a nice dream, or a beautiful snow. I love then when sounds or instruments inspire. I guess here it can be very nice to to use a filter and open this one. Get a little bit reverb again. So it's great to create some some atmospheres. And again the motor. Yeah, this can be very nice too. So, I got to remember, use the motor of the future. And we've got the percussion. Okay, so let's go to 90 BPM. Very groovy. And here we get different mic positions.
So they recorded all the instruments in one recording room, but the recording room had separate booths. So sometimes you can hear the other instruments, here not. But here. So you don't have access to all of the different instruments on their own, um, like for example in Styles RMX, but this is uh, another concept. but it can make a little fun. And here we got a kit. And different microphones. Here we got the snake kit. So I got to try because it's not the general MIDI drum mapping. So these are really different sounds. <laughs> and let's try one thing. Now I want to uh, create a um, random rhythm. Do uh, this one. And tempo is okay. So now let's quantize it to sixteenths. And here we want to randomize it. Go to MIDI logical editor, type node, and this is correct. Value one, we say random value between uh, what is the C1? Huh, let's let's try it. Let's say uh, 23. And here, let's choose 80, transform. And now let's randomize value 2. That's the velocity from 1 to 100, 127. So. And now let's add another instance. And here we use the motor here on the groove. And so we've got some special accents. Okay. 
and visitor groups some more. Yes, yeah, so these are processed rhythms, I guess. A lot of stuff to explore. This is great because here is not a lot of stuff going on, not so much instruments you can edit. Great, and here are all the individual articulations. Yeah, I guess um, we've explored the whole Larry and didn't forget anything. This is one of my longest reviews. I hope I could help you a little bit. There are a lot of different patches as in the other Abbey libraries and some of the sounds are very special for me. Um, some of them uh, I, I want to use them in the the future on their own or uh, doubling them. So what are your thoughts about this library? Did you own it? Did you compose something with it? Uh, do we have some questions or suggestions? Just leave a comment and see you the next time. Bye.